so hi dear cancer a very very good evening to you guys this is anjali tarot and this is a journal weekly seven days seven oshos and tarot messages uh, for all the cancer sun moon venus rising from 14 till the 20th of october i'm going to pull one card for each day you can take it as messages or guidance or uh, you can take it as warnings also uh, and if you're on your spiritual path you can take it as uh, the obstacles and challenges that you might face on the path okay in this week if you want to be a professional tarot card reader like me you can start your journey by purchasing my course the link is in the description box for the same if you want to start your self healing journey with hoponopono but don't know from where to start you can definitely start by purchasing my master class again the link is in the description box for the same and it has the power to change your life for the rest of your life Trust me on that. I'm doing it from a very long time now. Okay. And if you want a one-on-one -on -one healing sessions or personal readings, you can check out the description box and you can mail me for the same. So let's start cancer. Fourteenth of October, we have the integration. So cancer. On the 14th of October, you are going to feel a very beautiful kind of balanced kind of energy between you and a particular person or maybe within yourself. You are going to feel a balanced kind of feminine and masculine, uh, a very uh, beautiful blend of yin and yang. And you are going to feel like everything is kind of uh, making a very beautiful kind of uh, sense to you right now at this present moment on the 14th of October. It's basically your uh, masculine and your feminine uh, balancing and creating something really beautiful out of that. 15th of October, we have the maturity. On the 15th of October, you are going to realize that the messages, the blessings, the lessons and whatever you have gone through in your life till this point is actually help you to go to the next level with ease, uh, with ease and with the very smooth and very uh, nourishing kind of energy. So you are going to use your wisdom and your knowledge and uh, your lessons and your blessings in a very, very beautiful way on the 15th of October. And you're going to realize that actually whatever happened, uh, in your life till this point is uh, giving you the wisdom and the knowledge to go to the next level on a very uh, 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 in a very much, uh, smoother and positive way 16th of october we have the courage on the 16th of october you're going to realize that some uh, something might seem impossible to do or some kind of impossible task okay to do but uh, you're going to realize if you're going to have the strength and the courage to start doing something you will definitely be able to see the results of your hard work this might be something that other people might think like, okay, this is impossible that you will never be able to do that. But this is something that you, with time, you're going to realize that this is something that uh, if you're going to start working on this right now, it will slowly but surely grow and uh, something big can come out of that. All you have to do is to have the strength and the courage to start doing that, going in that direction. Seventh, we have the seventeenth. We have the healing. Uh, I do see a healing touch, a uh, healing like uh, somebody around you will try to help you in order to get to the root of the problem that you are facing, especially in your spiritual journey. And uh, you might end up meeting a healer or a guru or a person or a, like counselor or therapist or somebody who can help you to be vulnerable in front of the, them so that you can release the trauma and the pain that you are going through and heal yourself properly. That's really cool. On the 18th of October, we have the totality. On, on the 18th of October, you are going to realize that you might, you might need help in order to overcome some kind of challenges and, uh, and obstacles that you are facing in the in, act, in specifically one area of your life then and you're going to realize that sometimes it's okay to take help sometimes it, uh, it's okay to rely on other people or other energies to come out of the situations that you are not able to uh, handle properly with yourself right so taking help uh, is not a bad thing actually it's, uh, it's a good thing we all are humans even if we are going to become a saint or something we need help from other people so yeah definitely you need help in that uh, if you're going to take help from somebody you will be able to come out of a situation uh, more smoother than you are trying to you know do it by yourself 19th of october the participation so whatever you're going to do do it uh, with full participation with full concentration with full uh, heart and soul uh, if you're not able to give your best to a particular person or situation and you are trying to expect uh, you're expecting good results or good energies out of that it's not going to happen your full concentration and your full participation is required in order to get the good results or the desired results that you are expecting to have in your life you know in a particular situation maybe but your full concentration and your full participation is required with all of your heart and soul from your side, no matter what happened next, okay? Don't think too much about the next. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, it's 20th. Clinging to the past. On the 20th of October, something might trigger you, trigger your uh, like uh, 
feelings or your energies uh, that you left behind in the past but something is going to trigger something or someone is going to trigger something from your past and it might not be a good idea to cling to the past but you have the tendency to go back to the past in some way and ha- hurting yourself only like by thinking negative by thinking like whatever happened in the past was like it sucks i can't uh, repeat the same cycle i want to change this i want to change that guess what you can't ch- you can't change the past all you can do right now is to focus on the present and be mindful of uh, what you are thinking and what you are doing and what you are up to because clinging to the past past is dead horse like you are going to beat the dead horse no matter how many times no matter how long it's not going to come to life so if you are going to beat the past nothing good is coming so basically try not to get too much caught in the past and let it go let this day pass because it's it's kind of difficult for you to you know be in the present moment but try to uh, try not to get uh, you know too much involved in the past because it's gone right you can't do anything about it so yeah thank you so much for tuning in uh, cancer i'll see you soon in the next video bye bye take care god bless you namaste